Hi guys. First off, I want to say it was super fun seeing you today at school. And I'm just sorry that I couldn't give you all a hug like I really wanted to. And I miss you all so much. And I hope you'll have fun with flat teacher, flat Mrs. Godwin. Um, you can take me anywhere and take pictures with you and me doing all kinds of adventures. Now, flat teacher goes along with a character named Flat Stanley. And Flat Stanley has all kinds of adventures, and I'm gonna read you some of his stories. Today I'm gonna to start out with Flat Stanley and the bees. And you can see he's flat. That's why he's called Flat Stanley. He's completely flat, just like the picture that I gave you, like Flat Teacher, Flat Mrs. Godwin. All right. Stanley Lambchop lived with his mother, his father, and his little brother, Arthur. Stanley was four feet tall and a foot wide and about a half an inch thick. He was really flat. He had been flat ever since a bulletin board fell on him. Oh dear. Being flat didn't stop Stanley from eating just as much as a regularly shaped boy. Are the honey buns done? He asked one summer afternoon. Not yet, said Mrs. Lambchop. I don't know why I'm baking. It's too hot today. We'll cool you off, said Mr. Lambchop. Boys, let's do the fan. What does that mean? What do you think they're going to do? <laughs> oh, look what they did. Stanley flung himself on the floor. Arthur folded him up like an accordion. Then Mr. Lambchop grabbed Stanley by the ankles and flapped him back and forth. Whoosh! Much better, said Mrs. Lambchop. Run outside and play, boys. I'll let you know when the buns are ready. I should do that. It's hot out here. Mrs. Godwin's sitting out here and it's only like 8 o'clock in the morning, but it's already pretty warm. Let's go, said Stanley. We can use our new slippy slide. Stanley loved the slippy slide. He always slid faster and farther than anyone else. Outside, Stanley and Arthur spotted Tom and Sam from down the street. Want a slide? called Arthur. Sure, said Tom. Ooh. Have you ever done a slippy slide? Those are a lot of fun. Let's play tag, said Sam after a while. Okay, said Stanley, you're it. Stanley loved tag too. He could bend and twist, so he was almost impossible to catch. Look, because he's so thin. How about hide and seek, Tom suggested next. That was Stanley's favorite game of all. He fit into the best hiding places. I'll bet he could fit into all sorts of spots. Ooh, he's inside the tire swing. This is perfect, Stanley thought, curling up inside a tire swing. No one will ever find me here. Then he heard a sound. Eek! Someone cried. Stanley leaned out of the swing. Found you, said Arthur. No, you didn't, said Stanley. Don't you hear that sound? I think someone's in trouble. What do you think's gonna happen? The boys listened. Eek! Came the cry again. Stanley and Arthur followed the sound up a hill. Sam hurried after them. Bzzz. What do you think makes that sound? What's going on? Sam asked. Before Stanley could answer, he heard another sound, an angry sound. Bzzz. Oh no, said Arthur, it's Tom. Their friend stood like a statue. He was too scared to move. A swarm of bees buzzed around him. I was hiding behind a tree, Tom squeaked. I must have bumped a beehive. Eek! Oh, so there they are. But remember, do bees want to hurt you? They don't. We learned that. Bees don't ever want to hurt you. If you leave them alone, they'll leave you alone. Arthur, yelled Stanley. Let's do the fan. Got it, Arthur said. Stanley flung himself on the grass. Arthur folded him up like an accordion. Then Arthur grabbed Stanley by the ankles and tried to flap him up and down, but he couldn't do it. Stanley was too heavy. Sam rushed over to help. One, two, three, flap! Arthur called, together, 
they sand Stanley with all their might. Whoosh! The blast of air blew the bees away, but not very far. There he is. There's the bees, but they're still pretty close to him, aren't they? The boys came, the boys took off down the hill. The bees came after them. They're catching up, Tom yelped. Then Stanley saw something, the slippy slide. Stanley let the others sit on top of him. Whizz! They sailed along and landed with a wet plop at the lamb chop's back door. The boys raced inside. <gasps> so did the bees. Here they come, moaned Arthur. Eek! Squeaked Tom. But then the swarm swerved. Where do you think they're going to go? What, where, what, what? Began Stanley. <gasps> then he guessed the honey buns. Sure enough, the sweet, sticky buns were covered in sweet, sticky bees. Oh dear, cried Mrs. Lambchop walking into the kitchen. Then Mrs. Lambchop started to laugh. It is too hot for warm buns anyway. You know what we need, boys? Ice cream! Which would you rather have? Would you rather have the ice cream or the sticky buns? I think it depends. If it's summertime and it's hot, ice cream sounds pretty good. But the sticky buns sound good if it's cold outside. If it's raining or snowing, I would rather have those. I hope you had fun with the story. I have another Flat Stanley book and it's a chapter book. And so I'm gonna read different chapters to you so that you can read those. And I can't wait to see what you do with Flat Mrs. Godwin. I love you guys. Bye.